By using a tool to watch all of this stuff automatically for me, it makes my job easier. So how I use Sleuth is for the Dora metric specifically is that pulse of how things are going. So what we're looking at here is again, the Dora metrics for my product. So I'm manager, I'm thinking about how are things going over time? And I can see that, yeah, this makes sense. So our deployments per day have actually been going up a little bit and that's kind of expected. We added a few people, they're starting to get up to speed. And so I'm seeing exactly what I wanna see here. This one is particularly interesting, lead time. So here I'm looking at the average time it takes from coding time, the first commit, to when code is shipped in production. So as we've gotten these senior developers up and going, they're now able to do things in a quicker manner, get things out quicker with higher quality. The quality, as measured by failure rate. It's not so much that I care that our failure rate is super accurate and the number matters. It's more that I care about what I'm measuring and I care about how that's changing over time. In order to get more useful information out of it, again, to help the tool do the work for us, we track all sorts of potential impact sources such as 500 rates, memory, major duty alerts. So we're looking at lots of different measures of health. So when I see a high failure rate, it isn't saying that 20% of our deploys failed. It's saying that there was unhealthy bits detected by one of these many different metrics in 20% of our deploys. And that's a great proxy for kind of the quality of how we're doing. So specifically within the lens of doing more with less, by using a tool to watch all of this stuff automatically for me, it makes my job easier, especially as when I wear the hat of a manager, being able to go in one place and say, hey, it's getting worse, what's going on? And then that causes the team to say, you're right, let's figure that out and actually start making it. So that's how we use Dora Metrics in a nutshell. We use it a way to get a pulse of what's happening and not so much care about the numbers. Once you're at the numbers where you like them to be, deploying frequently, have a low change failure rate, things like that, it's more about the changes in the numbers. I do wanna know if it gets better or worse. And if you can use a tool to do that, then you're doing more with less.